The co-main event, of course, we've got big win from Bunchy Mark Jim taking on David Pinapide, the international WBC champ going up against the Australian champ. Samuel Garner comes forward early looking to smother the tie. Throws a three-piece combination. Not a lot of power on it, to be honest. And again, he's not really sitting his feet as he let those punches fly. Perhaps looking to close the distance into the clinch. Clubbing right hand, but again, not, no. not very good base. More of a volume fighter by the looks, Don. Yeah, he's up on his toes too. I'd like to see him calm down a little bit. I mean, I know it's a three-round fight, but, you know, when you're up against uh, good quality ties, you, you've got to be careful as well. Only nice. Young, the, fe yeah, the fella from WA. Oh, this is a big learning for him, going in against a guy with 130 plus fights at one of the strongest gyms in Australia, PDJ in Gladsville, and in about 30 other postcodes. Beautiful body kick by Singnum there. Yeah, Singnum just weathering the early storm, not too phased. This fight again brought to you by Hebe G's big sponsor of 1774. Yeah, another body kick landed by Singnong. Another one. Missing with the left kick is the blue corner Singnong. A little bit erratic, Samuel Garner. A little bit hard Whoa. to pin down. Beautiful sweep there by the tie. Lana Boy gets back straight back on his feet and back into it. He's just flicking those kicks out. There's not much damage in going, going ahead there. Body kick that finds the mark from Singnorm, even with the sway back. Oh, good left hook there. Stinging left hook from Singnorm. Goes by the name Kitty. Goes by the name Kitty Sack from Ratchaburi, west of Bangkok. Yeah. They produce a lot of good fighters. Big university town. You can always bank that the ties that uh, are trainers at PTJ, they always come and fight hard. They're always in good condition. Trains his, trains his boys well, does Andy. Samuel erratic with the low inside leg kick. Doubles up, going to the body that time. Singham just looking to time. Another body time kick. coming in, yeah, good body Beautiful kick. Beautiful balance wow. there. That'll score well for him. Samuel needs to check those kicks and not grab them. It'd be very difficult to fight someone like Samuel that style, you know, and I think that's why he's done quite well. Like I said, he smothers his opponent. as like a volume fighter, like you said, Matt. Well, it's not about the quantity, it's about the quality. Exactly. Don and a single in that round with some beautiful body kicks and some great work in the clinch as well. This fight brought to you by Hebe Teams. A big thanks to our ring card girl here this evening at 1774. We're back for round number two. This only three rounds this fight, so one minute break for the fighters. You might have noticed the previous five round of that, two minutes to recover. We're signaling with a big, some big body kicks in the first round, just picking his target. Samuel continuing with the volume-based attack into the second. Punching across the line as Sam finds himself a little bit out of position. Singnon looked to really throw this round, looking to time the right hand on that occasion with the switch kick. Nice left kick by Sam there. Oh, another nice body kick again. That's what Signal needs to do, just firing in those right kicks. If uh, Sam's going to grab them, then he's, he's, he's losing. He's losing points, you know. He's getting the steam knocked out of him as well. And he ate every piece of that, didn't he? So he's catching them, but he's hitting every piece of yeah. that kick. A few welts coming now on the back of Sam. Another right kick. 
I'm noticing when Sam finds his kicks up, Don, they're often landing on like the forearm or the elbow or the glove of Singdom too. They're not as clean and, and precise as the kicks from the tie. That's right. This is where he can be Tyson. He's in the clinch. Um, he's just pushing forward on the ropes and throwing some knees. There's not a lot of damage happening, but it's tiring too when you've got someone leading into you like that. Oh, nice left kick from Singnom. Return by Sam. Body then low kick. His game is young Sam Gardner. Oh, very game. Obviously a lot of confidence if he's gone five and five. His debut year. Andrew's boys are always in shape, always come to fight. Body kick for punch, trade off. Another nice body kick there. From He's just sliding those kicks in beautifully, waiting for Sam to expose himself as he punches and just flicking them up under the, the armpit. Again, a nice right kick there and that exchange from Singdorm. The Lana boy pressing forward. Left kick finds the ribs there. And another right body kick returned by a low kick from Sam. Tries for a sweep on the inside, no luck there. Stabbing knee from Singdom. It's some beautiful work, that, beautiful work. And the previous exchange from Singdom, who again had his kick caught, but defending it so well, jumping over the sweeping leg of Samuel Gardner. Beautiful technique from another the tie. Crashes kick. a left kick into the rib cage. Just missing the mark with his hands, the tie, but he's scoring well with his middle kicks. Another one. Beautiful finish for Singdom. And a little bit of razzle-dazzle <laughs> from the young fella. Yeah, why not, you know? <laughs> yeah, great finish from Singnorm. Uh, I, I think he definitely took that round. Uh, Sam needs a big, big third round, I think, if he wants to take it. But it's still three minutes out. Anything can happen. Take some home back to your wife. Round number three. This fight number eight. Brought to you by Hebe Jeeves. This is the third and final round. Tim McCauley announces it is the third and final round, 1774 6 edition. The crowd, the Merrickville crowd, have been treated tonight, and we still haven't even got to the dessert course, Don Miller. Yeah, it's a uh, well, beautiful team there from Signal on, on the hip there of Sam. Step up right, team. From Sam Garner, the boy from WA, triples up with the kick. Another body kick from Singnum, finds its mark. Is this a distinct power discrepancy? And he was uh, telling me like he really wants his boy to have a win um, after his last his outing. So, so far he's doing well. Great team there. Oh, nice elbow there, beautiful. Oh, yes, yeah, Sam's game. He charges in, yes. smothering again. Very dangerous rushing in like that, isn't yeah, it, with your hands sure. down, but it uh, shows a lot of heart. It's a roll of the dice as well. Nice switch kick, but it's blocked by Singdom. Sam, yeah, Sam's going for those swaybacks, but Singdom still, nice elbow. He's still finding the mark with his kicks there. Yeah, Sam Gardner just ate that elbow. He's currently chewing on it like he's a cow in a paddock, <laughs> but didn't bother him whatsoever. Comes forward, misses with the high kick. Oh, another big whipping kick there. And another one. Toe prints all over the back of Gardner. And Again right with the kick. right kick. Singnorm content just to pummel his hands to the outside, trapping the arms of Sam Gardner to a null lap position. He's having so much success in the kicking exchanges. Hundred and thirty fights experience showing right now. But also a great experience here for the Lana Muay Thai charge, Sam Gardner. Oh, definitely. You're going to be seeing this guy everywhere. He's probably one of those guys you're going to see on every third show. Oh. 
This will be a great confidence booster for Singnam following his previous outing against Brandon Spain. He carried his power up to the lightweight division up from the 59 kg. Good hard right kick there from Singnam. Oh, high kick from Sangun. Almost caught him slipping there. Tried to sneak it through the back door. Good fight there. Well done to Sam. Lana Muay Thai, a game boy, big heart, high work rate. And uh, I feel a, a good win there for PTJ Singnum. Yeah, absolutely. For bout number eight. Sealed up in a boat and delivered to you by Hebe Jeeves. Judges telling this, telling the score, tallying their scorecards. And it'll be Demicoli once again who announces the winner of this fight. And we'll be with you shortly for bout number nine. Go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Your first judge scored the contest 30 28, blue corner. Your second judge scored the contest 30 29, to the red. Your third and deciding judge scored the contest 30 28, to your winner from blue corner. <laughs> Thank you.